I found these bird houses at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to start by removing the hangers that are at the top by poking them through and grabbing them through the bird hole. I'm going to paint both bird houses in smoky quartz. This one has a bee in the front and this one has a sunflower that goes around the hole. I have this large candlestick that I painted in smoky quartz and this smaller one that I painted as well. Once everything dried, I covered everything with one hour enamel clear and then glued the birdhouses to the candlesticks. I found this glass sticker at the Dollar Tree. As you peel it off, it comes in strips and I start to decorate the roof on both of my birdhouses with these glass stickers. It just gave a nice texture. I did have to add a little bit of hot glue to my stickers to give them a permanent hold. I found this transfer at the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut off panels and place them on each side of my birdhouse taking it off its protective backing, laying it on the birdhouse, rubbing with a craft stick and removing the top layer. Again, I removed it from a protective backing, laid it on my birdhouse, rubbed with the craft stick and then removed the top layer. You wanna make sure you rub these for a long enough time so that your image does adhere to your birdhouse. I did this all around this smaller one and use an X-Acto knife to remove from the hole there. I use this transfer also from the Dollar Tree for my second birdhouse. Did everything the same way. This is a third transfer that I found and it has little birds and butterflies and I'm going to put it on the one birdhouse the butterfly above the bird hole, and then the bird on the front down by the bottom portion. Then I took black paint in the grooves of my candlestick, and I put the black paint in there and I take a baby wipe, making sure that it's very um, tight as I'm rubbing the paint back and then it leaves that little bit of black in the groove. I did it around my sunflower here and at the base of the candlestick. And I did this on both candlesticks. I dried brush black on the roof. And this you don't want full coverage. Then I'm gonna use my Eternal this is our gilding wax by Redesign by Prima. You can find this at chocolateupfancy.com. I covered the bee and just started adding the gold on the curves of my candlestick, on the roof lines, and I did this on both birdhouses. Then I took the gilding wax and ran it across my roof line just grabbing the detail of these stickers. I had this little platform from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna glue my candlesticks to and then add some grass. And I thought this was a really cute shelf sitter or display in your home. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chocolateupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chocolateupfancy.com. Thank you so much.